Good afternoon, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0. Today is day 58, and today I want to show you something something interesting. It's kind of a shortcut with regards to opportunities, DocuSign, and document upload. So, first thing we want to do: imagine a situation where you had already started your listing in DotLoop. And yet that listing hadn't gone under contract. You decided you want to start doing everything in DocuSign, which I certainly appreciate. And so you want to go in and create an opportunity now that you have an offer on one of your listings. So this is kind of a real life scenario that we'll walk through. I'm going to click on opportunities. I'm going to come in. I'm going to actually create the opportunity very quickly. So I'll just click on create. All right, we're going to go through. This is actually going to be a listing. We're just going to choose Donald Duck. You would actually choose your client, obviously. Uh, we would want to make sure that we chose the address and this is uh, we're doing one of our former listings that i had 1635 orchid mist all right cyprus uh, let's just put in an estimated close date and uh, we can just put march 31st this is just for example purposes all right so this is already active we're going to go ahead and drop this into uh, negotiations all right and we're going to assign this opportunity to myself Okay, so we now have an active opportunity. It's in the sales pipeline and it's under listings. Okay, I want to go ahead and come into my documents tab and I wanna pick a checklist type. This is a residential listing for sale. It is not new construction. These are my checklists that my market center has. And so once I've clicked on an actual checklist, I can choose a tab. This is gonna be under contract. Okay, I want to click on the drop down next to start a transaction. I want to select DocuSign because I want to connect this transaction to my DocuSign account. Once I do that, it's going to pull me into DocuSign and it has now created a room for me. Okay, it's now created a room. Now, typically I would go through the details and I'm going to put in all of this information. I'm just going to skip this step for time's sake but you would want to go through and fill in all of this information on the left hand side, everything on the right hand side as well. Once I click on documents, you can see there are no documents within this room. Now, if I had gotten an offer, right? And let's say it came from the buyer's agent and she or he had attached six or seven different documents um, that had been already signed or executed, et cetera. We'd gone back and forth and finally have the executed documents. Now I have two choices. I can come into my email, I can download each one of those documents to my hard drive and then come back into DocuSign here and upload them. But there is another way, and that's what I wanted to show you today. So the first thing I want you guys to do is click on Inbox. When you click on Inbox here at the top, it's going to tell you what your DocuSign email is. Okay, so here's my DocuSign email. It's marty.miller at mail.docusign.net. Now when I come back to Rooms, each one of the rooms that we create within DocuSign has its own room ID. It's actually a number that's associated with that room. So if I come back into this room, you'll see at the top left, there's gonna be a hashtag and then a room number, right? So number 306-1930. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And here is the actual offer that I got on this listing. Let's just assume all these documents have been executed and they're ready to roll. All I have to do to get these documents into that DocuSign room is forward them, right? So I'm gonna click on forward. I'm going to send these documents to my DocuSign email, which was marty.miller at, which one was now I forget, was it? I think it's mail.docusign.net, but let me just verify. Yep, mail.docusign.net. Okay, so to marty.miller at mail.docusign.net. And then what I want to do is I just want to change the subject. Okay, so I'm going to edit the subject on this and all I'm going to put in there is actually paste in that hashtag and then the room number. Okay, so I'm sending these documents to marty.miller at mail.docusign.net and I'm putting the hashtag the room number. I'm going to go ahead and click on send. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to DocuSign. I'm going to go back into my room and it sometimes takes a, a few seconds. But essentially what's going to start happening is when I come into documents, let's see if it populated, it'll take a minute or two. Um, but these documents that I just got executed from the buyer's agent, or this could be from the listing agent, right? If I was doing a buyer's transaction, whichever, let's just assume that these are all documents that we wanted to load into our DocuSign room, then we could just load these in. 
Now, typically, a lot of these documents are already going to be in our room because we're utilizing them for signatures, we're sending them in envelopes, etc. Um, but think about things like your survey, um, things that you get from title, maybe your closing disclosure or your um, title commitment, things that you want to make sure are uploaded into your room as well. Think about things that you get from your clients, such as uh, maybe it's the floor plan, maybe it's... Um, you know, documents where it's a, a Word document that they've sent that they want to make sure is brought in. Uh, a P and so you trans, you know, put it in a PDF and then you can upload it from there. So anything that's been emailed to you that is a PDF that you want to save a copy of, all you have to do is forward it to your blank dot blank or whatever your DocuSign email is at mail.docusign.net and then put in that room number. And let's give it one more try and let's see at this time it should. Right, I've given it enough time to start populating. Here you go. Here are all of those documents that I just sent over. I did not have to download them, save them to my hard drive, re-upload them. I just simply forwarded them over, and here they all are. Now here's the cool thing. I can come into Command, right? I'm going to click on Sync Transaction. It's going to say, hey, we're going to sync over the latest information. I'm going to say, yep, I want you to update. Okay, and then we're going to come in and let's say, all right, contract fully executed and dated. I'm going to click on add a file. I'm going to click on DocuSign. And here's all those documents that I just brought in, right, from that email. And here's the, the one to four. So I would click on that one, say assign. All right, next it's going to say, all right, let's seller's disclosure, add a file, DocuSign. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to find the seller's disclosure in my list. And here that is. Click on assign and so on and so forth. So you can see how easy it is to get documents from, whoops, don't know what happened there, sorry guys, documents from your email into your DocuSign room, and then once you're in your DocuSign room, I can just bring them into my, trans, into my transaction and boom, I'm done, right? So it is a, a super easy way to get those documents. And again, now we're using DocuSign for signatures of a lot of these, but I'm thinking like things that I get from the title company, things that I get from the buyer, from the seller, uh, maybe after the fact, amendments, those types of things, right, that have already been executed and I just want to upload them. Um, I could do that kind of thing as well. So that's a kind of a quick and easy way to utilize, again, where you find it is your inbox here within DocuSign. Anytime you want to send a document into your room, you're just going to send it to this email address and you're going to change the subject line to match the actual room number, so the ID, right? When you're in that room, every room has its own ID, and you're just gonna change the subject of that email with the documents you want loaded to this ID number, and just the number, so it's pound, you know, whatever number sign, and then your number, and it'll automatically pull them into the Documents tab, and there you have all of those documents quickly and easily. So that's today's challenge, guys, just making DocuSign a little bit easier, a little bit simpler. I do have one more hack for you tomorrow regarding DocuSign as well, and uh, I'll look forward to uh, showing that to you guys tomorrow. Hope everyone's having a great Super Bowl Sunday. Has a great afternoon. Enjoy the game. Enjoy the halftime show. Enjoy the commercials. And uh, as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.